your butt. I wanna lick on your butt. I wanna lick on your. I wanna lick on your butt. I wanna lick on your. I wanna lick on your butt. I wanna lick on your butt. I wanna lick on your butt. Okay, that's enough. Jesus Christ, Kyle. <laughs> People talk about love at first sight, like we just witnessed. However, I want to create a word for love at first listen. When you come across this song, that first time you hear it instantly, just like that, you're like, okay, I'm gonna love this. It just clicks so fast, and I wanted to make a word for that phenomenon. What I came up with is lovisen, which is love and listen combined, and then we substitute the I for a one, so we get first in the word because it is love at first listen. Able to incorporate all of those key elements right into the word itself. We now have a word for when you instantly vibe with a song and absolutely love it. That's when you levisten. I'd recommend checking out some of my whiplash rap wrap-ups. I'm sure you'll have some levistenings there. Check them out. started drooling. <laughs> There's no fucking way I just was drooling. <laughs> For our song and video of the day, song of the day is Slitham Sunset by Elring. I, I'm not super familiar with how to pronounce either of those aspects, of course. It's the only song I have by this artist. I think it's actually like background music that can go into videos without any copyright, kind of that type of genre. But it stands out to me because it just has some epic sax in it, and I love me some saxophone. A buddy of mine said he was grooving to this song a while back, showed it to me, and I had a Levison experience with it immediately. I was like, holy shit, I'm into it. And so yeah, I like the song, and I think you're basically free to use it in videos, and I will also link the video to it so you can give credit still. Then for the video of the day, Gavin has been sending me copious amounts of people getting hit with cars. And he sent a compilation of it this time. This is a surprisingly common situation. I don't know, apparently it's happening all over his timeline. These giant groups of people just gathering so they can get hit by a car. And a lot of people are just getting tossed while this is happening. They're standing in these circles of the drifting cars or they're on the edge and they get hit that way. There's just so much idiotic chaos going on that it's fascinating. I don't understand how there's this many dumb people that are engaged in this, but it's just what's going on, I guess. And entertaining as hell, nonetheless. That's what we have for the Daily Do. Peace out.